reason. They like to bring you a hike up over on these knobs and we're gonna hunt this deer. It's got a big old giant inliner. And hopefully we glass him up, bed him, and stalk him, put an arrow in him. And those deer are gonna be feeding in these bitter brush troughs. We've got a big old deer we're after. Got him on trail camera, he's got a great big inline on his right side. Didn't want to go in there and bug him, um, so we just took the long way in. Glass from a distance, seen one buck this morning, didn't see him. I'm gonna run around, grab some cards, cameras, check tracks at the water, see which way exactly they're coming in and out, and see if we can get a feel for where we think he might be bedding. Come in tonight, get up on these high knobs again, but we'll adjust a little bit. We're gonna get down a little closer. We got three cameras right now. We're gonna right here. There we are. We'll go through. Let's see what we got. Our feet are planted here for a week. What do we hunt? Big deer. One specific deer. It's uh. It's got a big inliner. deer and he's in a pattern. So right now we're going to go back to his water. We took cameras off of less productive waters. Go back to his water and we're going to trail camera the whole thing. So we want to know exactly where he's coming in and exactly where he's leaving. So we know where kind of where to concentrate our efforts on glassing. Put up some more cameras right here on this particular deer. We want to know exactly what he's doing. I wish I knew what he was doing right now, the second. I mean, I kind of think I know what he's doing. He's probably sitting there under a bush, chewing his cud. But, I kind of wish I was watching him chew his cud. So, it's the next best thing for now. I guess we'll uh, let's go get up on your knob that you were on this morning, huh? We'll glass anywhere from zero to five miles. I'm trying to pick up movement out there. It's a lot of country. Brutal. Direction those deer were coming off the water. Just look, I mean, they could be over here and there's a lot of draws that run away from this dome that we're going to climb up on so we should be able to see down those draws and then a lot of times you'll find them feeding in these draws just because that's where the majority of the water is and it's a little greener and a little better feed and out here feeds king because there is none <laughs> Got our work cut out 
first. We're gonna figure it out. Might be tracking deer instead of glassing. But whatever we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. So not gonna give up just because it's hard. Yet anyway. <laughs> Maybe after 20 days, 30 days we might, but for right now, we're enjoying the nice 100, 105 degree weather. Right, Chris? Yeah, loving it. But packing it up, check some cards, eat some dinner, be back at it in the morning. Hike up on top of this mountain, glass. Hopefully we'll find them and figure out where they're gonna go bed. Get in the middle of them and see if we can slip an arrow through them. That's our buck. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Epic Outdoors. You just saw part one of a giant Nevada mule deer. Don't forget to tune in next week to see how it all ends. If you've got any friends that are addicted to hunting like you are, please share our channel and don't forget to subscribe.